Good morning. Supply chain managers for manufacturing companies need to carefully go through your bills and materials for everything you build. This also applies to products that your company depends on, but which you outsource the production of. And you need to consider product by product and material by material, which of them are also in high demand by Pentagon contractors, for example, or in any other industry which China considers of high national interest to them. China's export bans on bismuth are already causing big problems for the suppliers of the biggest tech companies who need bismuth's soldering paste to build AI centers and supercomputers. Antimony is another good example. Antimony is used by weapons makers to build bombs and explosives, and antimony is also a critical component of flame retardant used in textiles and plastics. China's bans on the exports of antimony are clearly aimed at Pentagon contractors. Your company probably is not building rockets for Raytheon or artillery shells to be used in Ukraine, but it doesn't matter. If you need antimony for anything else, it's not coming. Today we'll look at robots, which is going to be a massive industry, already is. Jensen Huang is head of NVIDIA, who designs advanced chips for artificial intelligence. He expects his NVIDIA chips will power smart factories and robots and robotic systems. A robot might one day be hired for $100,000 per year, and humanoid robotics may be the biggest industry ever. NVIDIA is already building the AI models for them. One analyst expects annual production to be over 1 million units soon. The physical functionality for the robots is already there. Now they just need to be built smarter. All of this is also obvious to policymakers and industrial planners here in China. In March, the national government opened the first of what will be many investment funds for robotics and smart factories. $138 billion for this phase. In 2021, China unveiled a comprehensive national strategy for robotics. And here's how that's going. Annual robot installations across manufacturers went from 30% in 2020 to about half of them by 2023. In 2023, two thirds of industrial robots and electronics were put here in China and Chinese companies built more than half of those. This chart runs just through to the end of 2023 and the smart factories keep coming. Factories that combine AI with engineering, supply chain, logistics management, product design, comprehensive end-to-end -end manufacturing systems. Sam Altman is the head of OpenAI, the company that makes ChatGPT. He is also looking to robotics as a major profit center for his company. Robots that can build other robots aren't that far off. That's true. It's happening right over there in Guangdong. Altman goes on to say that robots will one day operate the entire mining supply chain, digging and refining minerals, driving trucks. Again, already happening. Chinese mines are replacing thousands of truck drivers with smart systems that automate that entire process. So Altman is talking about his big ambitions for AI in the future, but those breakthroughs are happening now, today. China is the factory to the world, and Chinese understand that robotics and automation can close the gap between Western firms and Chinese ones. But China also has monopolies on many of the raw materials necessary for building robots. Before NVIDIA can put their AI chips into a million robots to make those robots super smart, first our companies need to go through Chinese supply chains to build stupid robots. And that's true for Sam Altman and OpenAI too, if they ever hope to get their models installed in humanoid robots working in smart factories and driving mining trucks. And Sam Altman and OpenAI already have another big problem. The company recently called for a ban on DeepSeek, which is an AI system now in wide use across the world and developed here in China. They're pushing for a ban on PRC-produced models 
which would also include Alibaba's Quen system and some others. Microsoft is a major partner with OpenAI and both hope to benefit from the Stargate project. Stargate is a $500 billion program that's intended to secure dominance over China in AI. Elon Musk and Tesla are trying to mass produce humanoid robots right now, but China's rare earth metals ban, and particularly on magnets, is causing big delays there. Elon Musk is very widely respected in China. Tesla has a giant factory in Shanghai, which is one of the largest in the world, employing thousands of Chinese to build cars. And if Elon Musk can't get Chinese magnets to build robots for Tesla, there's no way Sam Altman and his friends will ever get any, and neither will anyone else. This is the Du Jiangyan irrigation system. It's over 2,000 years old. It's in Sichuan province. Be good. Store up for yourself treasure in heaven. Go where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. No man can serve two masters. He cannot serve God and money. So do not be worried about your life. 